Hello, in this problem, we're going to find the Jacobian. So we have x equals negative one half times u minus v, and y equals one half times u plus v. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by writing down the formula, and then we'll just use it. So the Jacobian of x and y with respect to u and v, can be memorized with a very, very easy determinant. So in the first row, you just take the partials of x with respect to u, and then with respect to v. In the second row, you do the same thing for y. So it's the partial of y with respect to u, and the partial of y with respect to v. Okay. And I think we should be bold here. Let's just try to do it. Um, I haven't done this problem yet, but it doesn't look too bad. So del x, del u, so basically we're taking the partial with respect to u. That means any time we differentiate a v, uh, we're treating it as a constant, so it's going to be zero. So this part will be zero, and so we'll just get um, a one here, right? The partial uh, of u, a uh, derivative of u is one. This becomes zero, so we just get negative one half. Again, the v will be zero, the partial of uh, u is one, and then we have a negative one half. Del x del v, that's gonna go over here. In this case, the zero, the u is gonna be zero, and the derivative of v is one, so it's a negative one, but we have a negative one half, so it'll become a one half. Right? It'll, be, it'll be negative one half, zero minus one, which is positive one half. Del y del u, so the partial here, uh, this will be zero, the derivative of u is one, so it's one half. And then del y del v, well, the derivative of v is one, the derivative of u is zero, so it's also one half. Then we just use the familiar determinant formula. I'm gonna come to the second line here. This times this, so it's negative one half times one half, minus, and then one half times one half. So that's gonna be, looks like negative one fourth minus one fourth. So that's gonna give us uh, minus two fourths, which at the end of the day is just minus one half. So really not too bad. Hopefully that made a little bit of sense. The derivatives I thought were really easy in this problem. So hopefully you followed along. So just uh, to reiterate, for example, here when we're computing the partial of x with respect to u, um, this is gonna be a one, right? The derivative of u is one, and this is a constant, so its derivative is zero. So we just get um, negative one half in this case, etc. I hope this video has been helpful, good luck.